Humanity has always lived in the shadow of predators. But what if I told you that the most terrifying hunter our ancestors ever faced wasn't a saber-toothed cat or a giant bear? What if the greatest threat came from something far more ancient, far more patient, and far more deadly? Three million years ago, our ancestors weren't the masters of their world. They were survivors. They were prey. And lurking in every river, every lake, every watering hole, was a predator that had perfected the art of killing long before humans even existed. The Pleo-Pleistocene world was a realm of giants, elephants larger than any alive today, bears the size of small cars, and predators that would make a modern lion look like a house cat. But among all these titans, one group stood apart as the ultimate human hunters. In the fossil-rich badlands of Kenya's Lake Turkana, scientists made a discovery that would rewrite our understanding of prehistoric terror. They found the remains of Crocodilus thorbjarnersoni, a crocodile so massive it dwarfed anything alive today. At over 25 feet long and weighing more than 2.5 tons, this was larger than the biggest saltwater crocodiles ever recorded. We're talking about a reptilian tank with jaws that could crush bone like eggshells. Its bite force would have been absolutely devastating, capable of snapping a human in half with a single chomp. But what made this predator truly nightmarish were the prominent horn-like bumps above its eyes, giving it the appearance of some prehistoric demon. For our ancestors sharing this landscape, every trip to the water was potentially their last. Here's where the story gets truly chilling. Despite knowing these giants lived alongside our ancestors, we find almost no bite marks on human fossils from this period. The horrifying reason? These monsters were so large they likely swallowed our ancestors whole, leaving no evidence behind except empty spaces in the fossil record. But in Tanzania's famous Olduvai Gorge, scientists found something that would send chills down any paleontologist's spine. The fossilized bones of Homo habilis and Paranthropus boisei, with unmistakable crocodile bite marks carved into them. The perpetrator was Crocodilus anthropophagus, literally meaning man-eating crocodile, and unlike its Kenyan cousin, this monster left behind direct evidence of its crimes. The bite patterns match perfectly. This is forensic evidence of predation from nearly 2 million years ago. These fossils tell the story of a violent encounter, an early human seized by massive jaws, dragged into the water, and consumed by a prehistoric monster. Imagine holding in your hands the bone of an ancestor who was killed and eaten by a giant crocodile. This is that bone. So why aren't these giants still terrorizing us today? Climate change. As Africa became drier, their massive size became a liability rather than an advantage. The smaller, more adaptable ancestors of today's Nile crocodiles ultimately inherited the earth. The terror these giants inspired didn't die with them. It lives on in our DNA, in that primal fear